to my channel. I hope you're all well. That was a very sort of controlled hello, wasn't it? <laughs> my brain was thinking, I've just reset my camera and I wonder how it's going to video. And I'm saying hi at the same time, so it sort of threw me off. It doesn't take much, does it? <laughs> So today is Thursday, so we're doing Theme Thursday in the nursery and um, I've been getting some babies ready this morning before I went for my walk with Lexi. I could see it drying up a little bit and then I thought if I grab a walk now I can get that in before it starts to rain again. So I went and did my walk. I might put some pictures in um, at the end, um, somewhere along here, maybe here or maybe at the end I'll put just a couple of pictures on. It was gorgeous this morning. But I did manage to miss the rain, and uh, so I was happy about that. And it is raining again now, so I've not long finished my housework, made a coffee, and thought I'll come and make a video. So um, I've just got a sign come up telling me my battery's low. I didn't check it before I came on, but I think it should be enough for a video. So what I'm trying to do today is I've got the tripod slightly further back. Excuse me, but Lexi's in the way. And I'm going to try and see, because I always feel like it's going to be right on top of the table because it used to work that way with the bed. And I didn't realise that I was doing it until this morning and I thought to myself, it can probably go back a little way, it'll be fine. It doesn't um, always, you know, have to be in the same place. Um, I was watching, is it Debbie from, is it Debbie's Darlings? I'm sorry if I've got it wrong. I was watching her videos. And all of a sudden I twigged yesterday and I thought, well, her videos are lovely and you can see all the baby and you can see her pottering around and chatting, which is lovely. And then I thought, well, you don't have to, you're right on top of the babies. But I, I hadn't uh, twigged, did I? Because I'm so used to trying to get it up against the bed and get everything in. So I'd got in the habit of doing it. So I've dressed some of the babies, well, pretty much on flats around. I didn't do um, Ava and um seren i've left them where they were ava my angelica by Eva Schick, it's always a nightmare to change and i couldn't decide whether to put a pink knitted dress on her with her pink leggings to save changing her leggings or um she's got like an off-white cable knitted dress and in the end i thought you know what i can't be bothered <laughs> i just want to go and get organized for my walk so i can get on with the day so I left those two as they were in pink and they just look adorable. But I've changed the others. I haven't got the light on in the room and so far we seem to be okay. Um, I did film on Tuesday but it looked so dark and awful that I didn't, um, I didn't put it up in the end. I just deleted it. I edited it and everything and I thought to myself, it looks a little bit dark. Maybe I can brighten it up a bit but it just looked ridiculous. It just did not work. So that seems to be my only problem, but um, I was slightly disappointed at first because I thought after all the work I've done to make the nursery, obviously I want the nursery as well anyway, but um, it's a shame if you can't film and stuff, but you know, and it's all perfect. And then I thought to myself, do you know what, it's, it's not a big real problem, is it? If it gets too bad and I'm worried about it, I can always film in my bedroom, but I've always got my nursery, so I'm not bothered because the nursery is a special thing, isn't it? So I thought, right, just calm down, it's fine. Don't let little things worry you. It's not important at the end of the day. So I thought I'd try this on her, and it fits lovely because I thought it is slightly big on Lydia. So I tried it on Nevi, and um, it looks adorable. So I thought, oh, well, there you go. They can fight over this one then. <laughs> so just in case you don't know, this headband I've had for a long, long time it's one of the staples of my nursery. I really like it. I altered it and made it smaller. It came with a dress set or something oh, a long time ago. And I made it smaller for the smaller babies because I just really like the headband, the style, the, the width, the, the colour will go with every, almost everything. It's, it's really nice. It's really handy to have. Um, and then um, she's wearing this lovely linen, because it's like a linen um, romper from next it was in next clearance and this is gorgeous and it's got all sorts of i mean really this is any season isn't it because you've got um you know it's got short sleeves you could put a cardi it's got short legs or no legs you could put long socks or tights and then you you know you um 
can wear it all year round really and it's just adorable it'll fit in with the summer with the flowers and the butterflies and also it will fit in for autumn because of the, the same because of the colors and the tech and it's lovely i really like it and then she's got her kinky socks from her romper the other day with the fur on the neck which i cannot find for some reason i just cannot find it and i look to see if i put it in the drawer being lazy because sometimes if i'm busy and I've been changing babies, I'll just pop the clothes in one of the drawers for a minute and so they're not sort of hanging around the nursery until I've got time to come back in and put them away. And I've looked and I can't find it. It's going to be somewhere where it's sort of looking right at me, isn't it? But I couldn't see it because I thought it might go for autumn colours for Theme Thursday. And um, I'm sure I've forgotten to say what Theme Thursday is today. And it is dinosaurs, like me. <laughs> <laughs> or um, autumn so you've got all autumnal colours and things so yeah so she's wearing the kinky socks off that pattern which are sort of white I mean it, the lace is off white it's like an ivory but the socks are white and then little shoes that I got from the baby boutique downtown that I've been past three times looked at the name thought ah that's what it is and then come home and forgotten what it is and I don't know why but the name of that place has never stuck in my brain it just will not um, but they're little designer baby shoes and I got from there. The name is on the box and it's right across the nursery now and I don't want to walk all the way over there just to find the name of the box and start again. Um, so I will try and remember next time. But I like them on Lydia, but I really like them on Nevi because she's just that little bit bigger. Um, Lydia is about 18 inches and um, Nevi must be... 20 20 and a half and of course it's the body proportions as well isn't it and it's, they just fit to that little bit better so i really like those on her i don't know whether to try and take you around the nursery or whether to bring the babies up because uh, of the lighting i haven't got the big light on because it seems to cast a yellowy glow um but i might just try and see how it goes if not then i'll just have to come back and edit out the part I'm just going to film <laughs> and do it this way by bringing the babies up but we'll see which way it goes I'll try and um, take them off so just a second while I get organized so there's Ava and Seren looking pretty up on the top of the unit and I've put the room light on now so um, hopefully it won't be too bad it won't be too bad a light so we come down I've got Tristan uh, we're landing asleep and he is wearing this lovely sort of <clears throat> they call it gold in the knitting shop actually it seems a bit better when I'm in a shade doesn't it um, he's wearing this little hat I knitted I'm actually making a cardi to go with it at the moment I've just done the back and the fronts so it won't be much longer and then I'm going to do little booties maybe if I've got enough wool left we'll see and he's got a little fox, which always reminds you of autumn, even though they're around all year, doesn't it? And um, the hat is like, it's like an ochre, isn't it? Or something like that. It's, they call it gold, as they say in the shop. And in real life, it's a bit darker. See if I try and make a shadow. It's more that colour. Like a really deep mustard. It's lovely, it is. And then he's wearing, let's move your little foxy, this neutral um, Winnie the Pooh sleep suit from George I think this was and Winnie the Pooh has got um, his little jumper almost matches the hat it's very very similar so I thought that would be nice and it's he's of a nice relaxed autumn day if I stand up and do it slowly so I don't uh, make you seasick and then obviously there's um, Nevi and then I'll go around the room this way I think so, in the cot, oh look at them, in the corner is Jameson and he has his boots on for the weather and long pants and on his t-shirt, oh it's, a, it's actually a knitted hoodie not a t-shirt, he's got little dinosaurs and the background is black, it's, it is just about black I think and then he's got grey dinosaurs of all different descriptions and then embroidered in white is the word raw 
and then he's got little blue like a mid blue tracksuit bottoms on with his um, little boots and then in the front he's got a little um, I think it's a triceratops isn't it a little um, dinosaur he's playing with and then in the middle we've got Narnia <laughs> no she just makes it look like she just flat out doesn't it and she's wearing this really cute outfit again I think it might be George it might be Matlan I can't remember I really can't remember but it's in a lovely like a dark like a very dark dusky pink almost going into a brown it's lovely like a really subtle muted sort of color and then she's got um, a pink let's try and do it this way above her a pink long sleeve onesie that's got vintage looking roses all over it and it just looks really snuggly just looks really nice and then a pink bow in her hair she's well crashed out and then over in this corner is a little smiling little girl and oh, she's adorable this one was always mike's favorite because um when i used to sit her in a little child's armchair in the living room she's always smiling and always looked happy but this is abby i call her abby for short but it's abby rose and she's wearing this gorgeous dress from nexus i've had a few years now and it's got a ruffle around the collar with a, a black bow and long sleeves that are gathered at the edge and it's in a check and it's all like um a cream or a beige background with black and like a tan brown um line you know the check it's absolutely adorable and i chose to pick out the brown more i actually have got somewhere <laughs> a headband that would match the the um, brownish stripes in it and i couldn't find it anywhere just absolutely couldn't find it but i fancied the brown i didn't i thought the black might be a bit harsh because even because actually autumn colors are quite soft aren't they and relaxing they're not harsh or bright so that's her and she's looking lovely and then she's got black shoes black paint and shoes from next as well little sweetheart and then if i pan across i've just about got the paint off the wardrobe now <laughs> and then we've got Ethan in the pram and he's looking off into space as normal and he's wearing let's come on this way so you can see me a little bit better he's wearing a really um cute i love the knotted hats and it's actually in a pale cream it looks white in this light but it's, it's all cream and a little hat with a knot in it and then he's got a tatty teddy autumnal sleep suit on so he's got little trees and leaves and it looks like little leaves blowing around and little tatty teddies everywhere it's just really lovely it's got like a little jumper there look oh no it's a mountain i thought it was a jumper look <laughs> it's a tent oh silly move and uh, <laughs> there you are he looks as confused as i feel look <laughs> but it's really lovely your little sticks and you've got like a pathway in the woods sort of thing theme going on and then if I come up and I pan slowly across, we've got the young lady herself. And Lydia is in behind the door, it's not the best light. And she's in her crib, happily sleeping, and she has that gorgeous headband on that I really like with the green leaves and the um sort of very pale peachy cream um flowers my phone's going to die so I need to hurry up a little bit and then she's got a top from next and I can't remember where the um, little knitted leggings came from but they're in mustard and the top has got a cream background and it's got mustardy and leaves beigey leaves and pink flowers all over it it's absolutely lovely and I'm going to have to stop there because my phone is starting to go dark and it's starting to die but um, I hope you enjoyed seeing the babies for Theme Thursday. Take care, everyone. Look after yourselves and each other. And I'll shoot back on again. Oh, my finger. I'll shoot back on again soon. Bye for now. Lots of love. Bye. Bye.